So here's a true story about this morning. I woke up and I thought it was like 2.49. And I was like, well, crap, I should get up. And then I look at the clock and it's actually 12.59. I, and I only get to sleep at 7, so whatever. Good morning. So as you can tell, it's not nearly as like rainy and cold. It's actually quite nice out. But the only thing is, when you have fleece sheets on your bed, it doesn't really uh, translate. It's, it's like not a great thing, you know, because it's so warm that you can't sleep and that's probably why you can get sleep till 7 a.m. Hmm. Oh, I was trying to figure out financial stuff. It's boring, it's boring. It's really, really, really bright and boring. So now I'm gonna do that so I can actually see my computer monitor instead of not being able to see my computer monitor and stuff, you know? Just cleaned up the documentary some more. I'm gonna export the intro and see how that exports and see what that's like. And I'm very, very excited. I like it. I like how it's turning out. And that makes me happy because I wasn't sure. And then I was like, what? Come on. What is it? What? Please work. And then it was working. And then it'll, it's, it's better. It's better and it's gonna be better and better. The more I clean it and I polish it and I add B-roll that I get sometime in the near future, and then it's gonna be better and better and better. And I think that's gonna be good. And I'm very excited to know that it's going the way that I would hope it might go. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it and stuff like that. <laughs> oh man, it's coming together so well. And I'm so relieved. Just all of the relief. Just all of the relief and stuff. So if I got to sleep at seven and I woke up at 12, that's less than seven hours. I'm going to make some eggs. That's unrelated. Well, I must say, those were excellent. So I had to make some decisions. I won't be doing unboxing except for this November crate. And then, unfortunately, I won't be able to do, do them anymore, unfortunately, because I'm gonna make some decisions if I wanna be able to pay for VidCon hotels, you know? Guys, today I learned a very important lesson. And I'm gonna start with this lesson talking about by saying that John Green once said, my advice is to find somebody that's doing something that you want to do and is doing it better than you can currently do it and listen to them. I, I think I'm misquoting him by just a little bit, but uh, you get the general picture. And anyway, so I was, I was really psyched about the documentary and I was like, man, this is great. I love this. This is awesome. I am making the best documentary that I possibly can. And then I was like, hang on a second. John Green once said, find somebody that is doing something better than you that that you want to do better than you can do it and listen to them so i said hang on a second before i get too ahead of myself i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna go and ask somebody critical and so i sent my test footage or whatever to this to this critical person and it pointed out some flaws and that is not a bad thing it's like because i knew that it came from good intent because I, if i if i knew like if i thought that this person was just gonna just sit there and troll me and just be like this is terrible go away then i you know i wouldn't have sent it to them but i know that they come from a place of good i know that they had good intent and it really like made me level-headed i was getting really really excited and really really caught up and oh my god this is so great and then I, I realized that there's there's still work to be done. Like I was gonna be like, okay, that's it, goodbye. And then to, there's totally still work to be done. And I respect that, and I understand that now. And I'm glad that I, I sent it to them because if I hadn't have gotten that criticism, then it wouldn't be what it could be. And yeah, it still sucked hearing it, but it was better because I knew it was playing, coming from a, from a place of good intent. And that was the most important part to me. And I want to thank that person right now. So Jim Valen, for your expertise, thank you. And I appreciate it and thank you for like everything and stuff and all sentimental bull crap. Anyways, I hope to go back up there and uh, interview with you again. Do a From Here to Their Films interviews Jim Valen part two. That'd be very interesting. I would like to see that. Would you guys like to see that? Maybe let me know in the comments. But the the very the very important thing that I want to say before I go to bed is that criticism is important. And I put I did that most realization today. Thank you once again to Jim Valen. And I love you very, very much. 
all of you, thank you for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.